As the saying goes, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds a treasure. And as always, your pastor or spiritual leader is very key in the success of every marriage. And for Christians, the Bible says that a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife and they shall become one. This is the expectation of the beauty of marriage. But what happens when the woman you have married connives and plans with your pastor or her pastor to get rid of you, her husband? This is the story of the plot and murder of NBA star Lorenzen Wright and how the police was able to solve the case and the details of the case as has been found out. If you are ready for this ride, buckle up and let's go. Full name Lorenzen Van Gan Wright was born on the 4th of November 1975. He was an American professional basketball player for 13 seasons in the National Basketball Association. He drafted 7th overall in the 1996 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Clippers and eventually also played for the Atlanta Hawks, Memphis Grizzlies, the Sacramento Queens, Kings sorry, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Fast forward, we go back to look at the early days of Lorenzen. He was raised in Oxford, Mississippi, where he played for his high school before moving to Memphis, where he spent his senior year playing for his high school there as well. He played at different levels and he had a very modest upbringing. He wasn't born into money, so he had to make his way in life with the support of his family also. Fast forward to the 18th of July 2010, Wright went missing and was eventually found shot to death 10 days later. In December of 2017, his ex-wife, Shira Wright Robinson, was charged with facilitating his murder a year and a half later and she would go on to eventually plead guilty. Her friend, Billy Ray Turner, who is also her pastor, was convicted of first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. And Billy Ray Turner was handed a life sentence in prison. This trial was very wide covered, widely covered and it still stands as being one of the most popular in Memphis and it eventually would lead to the prosecution of the people who had been found guilty of the murder of Lorenzen Wright several years after the actual crime occurred. This is why when Lorenzen initially disappeared, according to his ex-wife, Wright left his home in Tennessee on the night of July 18, 2010 with drugs and an unspecified amount of money and was not seen or heard from again. His family then filed a missing persons report on 22nd of July after Wright's body was found on July 28th in an area on a cutoff road just west of Hacks Cross Road. A 911 call reportedly had been received from his cell phone in the early morning of his murder. But it turns out that this was not pursued for one reason or the other. The caller was speaking with the dispatcher when 11 gunshots rang out.
The dispatcher did not report the call to her supervisor until eight days later and this ended up hindering the police investigation and resulting in a payout to Wright's family. The case was investigated as a homicide. Moving on, Wright's body was buried at the Calvary Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee. In 2011, a reward for information related to his killing stood at 21,000 US dollars and the state of Tennessee contributed $10,000. The city of Memphis and the Memphis Grizzlies each promised $5,000 and another body called Crime Stoppers also promised $1,000. All to no avail, the case went on to be classified as a cold case as it was still not possible to get the people who had taken the life of this promising basketball star. Investigations were however picked up again after a gun was found in a river by an FBI diving team after previous year's attempts had failed to find a weapon. On December 15, 2017, Wright's ex-wife, Shira Wright Robinson, was arrested in California in connection with the murder. Shira was a former member of Tennis Church. The seven-year investigation into the death of Lorenzen was one of Memphis's police department's most high-profile unsolved cases and in fact when they had to revisit the cold case they gave it the name Operation Rebound synonymous to the use of the word rebound in a basketball match where it gives you the chance to attempt whatever you want to do again and rightly so the rebound was successful this time around. Lorenzen's mother told a local newspaper that a police official had told Shira that she would be charged with first degree murder. That was what the police officer had told Lorenzen's mom and that would be the same charge that Tena would also face. Lorenzen's mother believed that her former daughter-in-law, that Shira, was motivated by money and went on to specify a $1 million life insurance policy held by Lawrence and Wright, which Shira saw that she stood the opportunity of claiming in the case of Lorenzen's death. This was not something that could be easily discounted because given the fact that Lorenzen died just five months after concluding the divorce, between himself and Shira. In 2015, there was an article in a newspaper where Shira had explained how she inquired early in the investigation whether she was a suspect. This seemed a bit odd because she said that she figured she could be a person of interest and in the long line of suspects, it turned out that well, she, she, she still had the chance to go several years without eyebrows being raised. But then, Shira would go on to write a book. And this book was about an MBA character, MBA star, specifically a male who was sleeping around with several women as has turned out to be something that Lorenzen was alleged to be engaged in although he had a family of his own and his kids it was also alleged he had various fiancées across different states and this 
seemed to have embittered Shira, allegedly. This book, Shira was asked, was whether it was pertaining to the life of Lorenzen and she denied. At a point, she came out to say that she was coming out with a second version of the book and that the character was going to be killed. Fast forward. After Lorenzen's passing, records showed on August 1st that Memphis police had searched Shira's home and found burned pieces of metal and a letter addressed to Lorenzen Wright and her. But law enforcement at that time did not see what the terms or what the items meant to investigators or how they interpreted it in their investigation. In 2014, Shira agreed to a confidential settlement of a dispute in, in a circuit court over how she had actually gotten that $1 million of insurance money after Lorenzen's passing and then spent it herself instead of holding it for the purpose for which it was intended, which was to benefit the, the six children born by herself and Lorenzen. On July 25, 2019, Shira Wright pled guilty to the facilitation of first-degree murder in the shooting death of Lorenzen Wright and was sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. This is how a love story can end up. We pray that when you find the love of your life, it goes all the way to the end till death do you part, but not at the hands of each other, but in love and harmony. Stay safe out there, and it doesn't matter who you think you love or who loves you. Circumstances can change, greed can change, the scorn of some women is very deadly and you should keep an eye out for some of these things. That is not to say that all women are bad. This is just one of many women who went down this path. We wish the family of Lawrence and Wright the strength to move on. We wish his kids all the best in life as they try to put this behind them and move on. And for the corporates, we leave them to the justice system. Stay safe out there.